Hey, how you doing out there? I was asked by a friend of mine to do a piece on Ishmael by Daniel Quinn. And as you know, I've never done a vlog. This is my first time. And I'm stepping outside of my element, or as you might say, my square. But uh, he wanted me to speak on what I took in from the book, or what I got from it, or how it influenced me. And one thing I will say is that the book, he told me that the book would speak to me. And I kind of looked at him as, you know, what are you talking about? So as I would pursue to read this book, which would normally be right before I'd go to sleep or whatever, and I'd read a couple of chapters and I would actually have dreams to where Ishmael was speaking to me, which was so disturbing, or maybe not so disturbing, but intense that I would actually wake up and read another chapter. Um, I actually believe the book should be read more than once because I believe that there's so much to take in from this book and so much to consume that you just can't get it from one time. It's something that needs to be done, you know, quite a few. You have to bear with me. Like I said, this is new to me. Because I went brain dead, of course. But one thing I want to speak about was that I feel like after you read this book that you can look at how do, how do I want to put this? How corrupted and plagued that we are that we feed into commercialism and materialism that all the things that we think we need to make us happy or to complete us and make us whole and really all we need is the simplicities of life the basic elements to get us by not the excessiveness of things for example do we need a three pound roast or could we just have a hamburger and be happy okay that's not going well Artillery, gorilla leaf, spilling that you're falling down. Nah, you speaking sillily. We need it all ancillary divisions to instill all the incisions to be killing this system.